All right, Sailor Moon fans, this one is for you. Get ready and get excited because I decided to put together a Sailor Moon makeup collection. So if you are into Sailor Moon or you just want to see this little faux collection that I put together, go ahead and keep on watching and let's go ahead and jump in. So Sailor Moon is a TV show from the late 90s and the early 2000s and I used to watch it when I was little. I was freaking obsessed with that show. I think a lot of people were and I don't think that I've seen the show since like 2004 so I think I was like 10 years old when I stopped watching it but when I was watching it in its prime I was obsessed. That show was my absolute favorite show in the whole world back in the day when I was little and I was watching that since before I went to elementary school like before preschool I think I was literally a toddler like teeny tiny little baby when I started watching that show now Sailor Moon has a huge cult following people still freaking love that show people have Sailor Moon tattoos people are still very much obsessed with the show even though it is from quite a while ago and Sailor Moon is an anime it's a Japanese cartoon I believe they used to play it on like Cartoon Network or something back in the day back in its prime but the show is basically about these aliens who look like pretty girls and they're basically normal school girls by day and by night they fight crime kind of like the Powerpuff Girls to be honest but they all channel energy from these planets in our solar system so there's like Sailor Mars, Sailor Mercury and so on and so forth but I haven't personally seen a makeup collection done or curated together based off of Sailor Moon so I figured you know that's a really good idea there's a lot you can kind of play off of here so why not go for it. So that's exactly what I did here. So let's go ahead and get started with this little collection that I put together here with the highlighter. Now in the show Sailor Moon has this little compact mirror type scenario that looks exactly like this and there's a few different variations of this little compact throughout the show and throughout the different seasons and whatnot. But I decided to pick this heart shaped compact because I think that it's really really cute. When I was little I wanted all the little gadgets and the little compacts that all the little sailors had. I wanted them so bad I would literally like make them out of paper because I wanted like real replicas of them but I just didn't realize that you could probably buy them online or like in store or something like that so I would make my own out of paper I also did that with Pokemon badges I would literally take paper cut it out and pin them to my shirt because I'm a weirdo but they already sell these little compacts and they're basically just compact mirrors that replicate the little compacts from the show so I decided to take that and basically put in my little highlighter that I think would go really well with the Sailor Moon collection but this highlighter that I wanted to represent Sailor Moon would be a trichrome because I love duochromes I love trichrome so you already knew this was coming but I decided to make this little trichrome highlighter an orange pink and purple highlight a lot of the characters in this show are really bubbly and really girly and I thought that this color situation was perfect for representing how the girls act so I basically just put together some of my favorite brighter and fun and bubbly colors and I think that this would be a really beautiful highlight I think that this would work for a lot of skin tones as well you know on fair skin you could use this as a highlight topper or even a shimmery blush on medium skin this would be a beautiful highlighter but on deep to dark skin this would be absolutely stunning as a highlighter this would be so freaking beautiful so I figured that I would put together something that was not universal but would work for a bunch of different skin tones for different purposes as well I don't know about you but if some makeup brand actually came out with little compacts like this that had a highlighter or a blush or something maybe even an eyeshadow palette that was in the shape of these little compacts from Sailor Moon even though I don't even watch the show anymore, I would like hands down buy it just for how adorable it is. But highlighter talk aside here, let's go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow palette that I put together for Sailor Moon. Now, you know me, if you've watched some of my little palette redesigns or faux palette videos, I always make a little cover, like some packaging, if you will, for the actual palette itself. So this is what the packaging of the palette would look like. It would just be called the Sailor Moon eyeshadow palette. And as you can see here, we have the compacts in the background because that is a huge part of the Sailor Moon aesthetic is those little cute compacts and I decided to put Sailor Moon's silhouette as well into the actual packaging because that is a huge part of the storyline every time that they turn into their little sailor form they go through this little dance I don't know suit up scenario where they just show their silhouettes suiting up it's kind of weird and kind of dorky but it had to be included into here because if you're a Sailor Moon fan, you know exactly what this is. But this is what the inside of the palette would look like. Now, if you guys have been here for a while and you've seen some of my palette redesigns and my palette prediction videos, 
I always do this electronically through Photoshop. I basically make colors myself and put them into a faux computerized digital palette, if you will. So I decided to actually go into my collection today and pull out some real physical eyeshadows that I could show you guys that to me represent the Sailor Moon characters perfectly. Let's go ahead and get started with Miss Sailor Moon herself. Now this shade is absolutely stunning to me when I saw it. I was like, yes, this has got to be Sailor Moon right now. And this is by Kristen Lee Cosmetics. This is called Mood Ring. This is a beautiful multicolored, almost trichrome, if you will. It's like an iridescent white based eyeshadow that has a bunch of hot pink sparkle running through it and almost blue sparkle running through it as well. So you have those nice different contrasts of color. When you turn your eyes one way, you see the hot pink sparkle. When you turn your eyes the other way, you see the blue sparkle. It is very multidimensional, but it's still a light kind of pale iridescent white base. And this represents Bunny or Sailor Moon because obviously she's the moon. So I didn't just want to go for something that's gray. I wanted to go for something that was an iridescent white base that had a bunch of colors running through it because she is a very colorful and eccentric character. Now, next Next up in the palette, I picked out a beautiful matte, kind of bubblegummy hot pink, which would be based off of the character Minnie Moon or Rini. Now she was my favorite when I was little. I wanted pink hair and to be honest, still want pink hair to this day, but I wanted pink hair so freaking bad when I was little because of her. I thought she was the cutest little thing and I loved her hair and I loved her character as well because pink is my favorite color. So I knew I had to put in this shade, which is Cleonid Cosmetics Strawberry Mousse. This is like one of my favorite hot pink mattes in the entire world because it's not really a super intense neon hot pink. It's like a bubblegummy hot pink. So it goes really, really nicely with other shades and it goes really nicely as a transition shade or just as an all over eyeshadow shade as well. So the next character that I wanted to represent was one of the cats in the show whose name is Luna. Luna is one of the cutest little cartoon cats ever besides like Garfield and Hello Kitty. But this eyeshadow is by Luxie Beauty and it is the shade Sweet Tooth. Now it is pretty similar to the shade that I picked out for Sailor Moon or Bunny. The shade is a little bit different because even though it does have that iridescent white base, it has a really strong peachy pink shift versus Mood Ring at the beginning here, which did have hot pink glitter in it, but it also had that blue shift to it. So it almost gives it more of a purple vibe versus Sweet Tart, which is very much so more pink. And of course, because we included Luna, what would a Sailor Moon palette be if we left out Artemis? The Black Kitty from the show. Now, I didn't want to put any black eyeshadow in here because frankly, I don't I don't like black eyeshadow. I don't ever use it. I don't have a purpose for it. So instead, I decided to put in something that was a little bit smokier and a little bit deeper that wasn't just straight black. And this is by Fyrene Cosmetics. This is the shade Beyond This World. And this is a beautiful multi-chrome. It's like an orange, purple, pinky based, kind of plummy, smoky multi-chrome, if you will, which sounds absolutely insane. It sounds like way too many colors to be real, but it is absolutely stunning. It is so multi-dimensional. You can really see all of the colors that are in this multi-chrome on the eyes, but mostly it kind of just looks like a purple when you're looking at it in the pan. But I think it is so freaking beautiful. You can really see that purple to orange kind of smoky shift on the eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and let you guys guess who this next color is. Yeah, it's Sailor Mars, of course, obviously. This is a beautiful red metallic that has a bit of a pink base to it. It is so freaking gorgeous. It is such a beautiful color that to me represents Sailor Mars so well. And this shadow is Scarlet Faith by Beauty Escape Cosmetics. Then we're moving over to Sailor Mercury, one of my absolute favorites. And this is the shade Snowdrift by Cleonid Cosmetics. Obviously, it is a beautiful kind of light teal blue, but it has pink pink sparkles running throughout it. It is so freaking gorgeous. This is from their new collection and they just hit it out of the park with the shade Snowdrift. And by the shade of this next one, I'm sure you can tell that this one is meant for Sailor Jupiter because obviously we have a beautiful green trichrome here and Sailor Jupiter's whole outfit, her whole getup is based off of green. So I figured why not go ahead and pay homage with her but make it a little bit more interesting than just giving her just a plain old matte green or a metallic green. This is by Fyrene Cosmetics. This is the shade fantasy creatures and as I just said this 
is a trichrome. We have a bunch of different colors in here, but when you look at the shade in the pan, it looks like a beautiful mossy green metallic. And then once you turn the pan itself, you can see these beautiful pink and red glitters throughout it. And it kind of shifts from a red to a pink to a green, but mostly is a green based eyeshadow. It is so freaking beautiful and multi-chromatic. I just love it. So now we're moving over to Sailor Venus here. And Sailor Venus, if you haven't seen the show, has bright yellowy orange hair. So I figured why not go for a matte that matches her hair perfectly and that matte would be Sydney Grace Cosmetics Geese Elaine. This shade is obviously a yellow but it has more of like a burnt almost orangey base to it. It is so freaking beautiful on the eyes. It is perfect as a transition shade. I absolutely love it. And the last shade in this row is based off of Sailor Pluto who if you look at her character she has really really dark green hair but I decided to choose a green that was a little bit lighter and a little bit more yellowy. This way it would go with the other yellow that we have going on here and go with some of the tones that are down here as well. I do have some really, really dark, almost foresty green shades, but I decided to pick this one just because I feel like it just brightens up the palette a little bit. To me, the palette just looked a little bit too dull once I put in the kind of foresty, deeper green. So I figured putting in this beautiful green apple colored green would just go really nicely with the overall theme. And all of these girls have really bubbly and energetic personalities, so I didn't want anything that was too dark for any of them. So if I look significantly greasier, I've been gone for about an hour, but let's resume the rest of the Sailor Moon palette. So the next sailor that I wanted to represent here is right down in this corner, and this shadow represents Sailor Uranus. So Sailor Uranus has short blonde hair, and her color is like a teal blue color, but then she also has a yellow and green bow and heart on the top of her outfit. So I decided to pick out Peachy Keen by JD Glow Cosmetics. This is the most beautiful green and peach duochrome and I really just wanted to incorporate this into the Sailor Moon palette because I felt like it just fit perfectly with everything. It is so freaking beautiful. I mean have you ever seen a peach and green duochrome before? It is absolutely phenomenal. The JD Glow Galaxy Shadows are like to die for. I want all of them. I am collecting them right now. And they are so stinking beautiful that I had to incorporate it into this palette. So this next shadow here represents Sailor Saturn. And Saturn is actually one of my favorite planets. I love the rings. I think they're so beautiful. And I like that the rings get icy and create these really beautiful little ice droplets that like get stuck in the atmosphere. Y'all are probably gonna grill me out there who are into like science and whatnot because I clearly have zero knowledge on anything having to do with science or our planets. But I like that the rings get icy. I think that they look really beautiful. So I decided to pick out another JD Glow Cosmetics Galaxy Shadow and this is in the shade Good God. And Good God is a shadow beautiful or what? Minus 10 points for cheesiness this time. But this is the most beautiful blue, purple, and pink sparkly shadow that has a bit of a beige kind of purpley undertone to it. It's a really strange multi-chromatic shadow that has all these different beautiful colors running through it, but it is so freaking gorgeous on the eyes and I knew immediately when I saw it that I had to pull it for Sailor Saturn. It has this beautiful icy quality to it that just really represents the icicles that kind of form on the rings of Saturn. So next up we have Sailor Neptune and I decided to pick out Give Me Glow Cosmetics Sachet which is this beautiful true royal blue matte. Now when I think of Neptune I think of like Spongebob you know like Oh Neptune is what Mrs. Puff always said so I think of the ocean and I think of ocean fish and like a scepter and almost like Aquaman. That's basically what I think of when I think of Neptune the planet which is strange because they have like nothing to do with each other but nonetheless I wanted to pick out a shade that was this beautiful royal blue and I knew that I only had one shade like that in my collection and that was Sachet by Give Me Glow Cosmetics. And the final shade that I wanted to put in here is representative of Tuxedo Mask who is Bunny or Sailor Moon's boyfriend kind of like love interest in this show and he wears all black and he wears a white mask and just like Artemis the cat I didn't want to put in a black shadow that was like just a plain old boring black so I decided to pick something that was a little bit more smoky and a little bit mysterious almost if you will if purple can be mysterious but I wanted to put in something that was smoky and dark and deep and 
I don't know. It just reminds me of Tuxedo Mask. I just wanted something that was smokier and deeper and a little bit more mysterious. So this is Blackened Plum by Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and it is the most beautiful, coolish, kind of mauve blackened, smoky, plummy shade. Just like what the name would suggest, it is absolutely stunning, and to me, this represents Tuxedo Mask just because it's smoky and blackened, and to me, it just reminds me of Tuxedo Mask without actually having a black shadow in here. But that is all that I have for you as far as my little Sailor Moon faux collection goes. If there's any brands out there that actually have a Sailor Moon collection, let me know, because I would love to check that out. I'm considering buying one of those little Sailor Moon compacts even though I know I do not need that in my collection. I think it's really cute. I really love the overall aesthetic of Sailor Moon. I always have since I was really little. So I think that if no brands have actually come out with the Sailor Moon collection, um, yeah, it's time to get on that, people, because I think that it would be a really cool collection that a bunch of Sailor Moon fans all over would probably be into. But with that being said, that is going to be wrapping up this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope you consider subscribing because I have a lot more where this is coming from. I am going to be doing a lot more palette predictions and palette redesigns and whatnot because I think they're so much fun, and I just want to bring more of that here on my channel. I do also hope that you consider giving this video a big old thumbs up and ringing the notification bell if you did enjoy it as well and thank you so much for spending your time here today i hope to see you next time bye